Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Create creation tools allows you to record and edit your broadcast so it sounds great. And they even distribute your broadcast for you so that it can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. So make sure you download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, everyone. And here is your FET News. Join Andrew Fred every Tuesday for the Substitute Tour, where he talks about his day as a substitute teacher, and every Wednesday for Let's Fret About Education, where he discuss education, racial injustice, and COVID-19. Make sure to subscribe and tune in every week. Join me, Damian Anderson, every Friday for Damian Talks Education where I discuss all things education from my perspective and some incredible guests. So make sure you follow on social media and subscribe on YouTube. Join Andrew Fret and me, Damian Anderson, every other Monday for Friends with Damian and Andrew, where we share our everyday normal lives together as we navigate school, work, podcasts, relationships, and much more. Make sure you follow and subscribe on social media and tune in. New episodes of Future Edge Cares Talk drops every Thursday. So follow and subscribe wherever you listen to your favorite podcast ads. Follow Future Edge Cares Talk on social media. Facebook, Future Edge Cares Talk. Instagram, Future Edge Cares Talk. Twitter, F-E-D-U Talk and TikTok underscore future educators talk and follow your hosts on social media as well Andrew Fred Instagram it's Andrew Fred Twitter Andy Fred Damian Anderson Instagram D Damian Anderson Twitter underscore Damian Anderson KJ Johnson the second Instagram and Twitter KJ Johnson II Darnell Jerome, Instagram, Coach underscore DJ12, Twitter, Coach Darnell J. So follow your hosts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Future Edge Cares Talk, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode of our video version episodes. Also, you can now listen to past episodes of our show on our YouTube channel and everywhere on podcast platforms. Welcome to Future Educators Talk with your hosts, Andrew Fred, Damian Anderson, KJ Johnson II, and Coach Darnell Jerome. Now, let's talk education. Future Educators Talk starts now. Today is Teacher Appreciation Day. I uh, well, not really. <laughs> um, Immigration and welcome newcomers, literacy and digital literacy. Yeah. What I will say is, I'm glad to see that you know everybody from the from the fam is doing what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? New teachers, uh, veteran teachers, subbing. You know, just doing everything they need to do, man. That's that's a great that's a great feeling, bro. So. You know, we going to be promoted, uh, which we will kind of <clears throat> discuss later on in the episode. So, yeah, uh, promotion, um, how a teacher just left without no um, supplements yeah. for the remainder of the month. So, you know, uh, we'll be struggling for the last for the past couple of weeks. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about that, shall we? No, we're going to be struggling, bro. Just do your thing. Just uh, bring out that, that creative side. I mean, doing lessons, man, but be creative. Do your own lesson plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is, bro, just do your own lesson plan. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. like, like today, I, I, I'm creative. I'm outside. <laughs> it's raining, but I'm outside. Having future educators talk, like, it's cool. Cool. Don't worry, I'll be outside soon. <laughs> I love my own house. Um, you know. Oh, 
Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. You know, I just said uh, I'll be outside soon. Actually, I did. I did go outside you, once. You you went outside? Yes, recording wise, I did. Yeah, you did. You've been outside a couple of times recording wise. A couple of times, which was good. You just weren't getting no service. You know, I'm already. Uh, yeah, the reason, the reason, the reason that you see my picture right now because it's raining. So I didn't want to have my phone out and it get wet. But yeah, you you've been on, you've had numerous shows where you, you know, was talking, but your service was just sucky. Cause you know, you was out there in the wilderness. It don't work as much. Remember? Yeah. And you was freezing like that darn sub zero. I know what was going on. Yeah. Sub zero, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You know, those were the good days, you know. <laughs> The good old days. The good old days. You know what? You know who needs to go outside and record? Who? Mr. Damian Anderson. First of all, <clears throat> love my boy to death. But you know, just like I know, brother Damian ain't gonna go outside. Damian ain't going outside for nobody. Well, at least try. You know? Try. That's that's what. Ooh, ooh, hold on. That's one thing. At least try. I know, bro. And it sounds. Listen, it sounds great. It really does. But you know, just like I know, my boy gonna tell you straight up. Ain't got no mask on. I ain't doing it. He gonna tell you straight up. Got no mask on. I ain't doing it. Yeah, okay. That's what he. That's what he gonna say. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Like, what are you going to say? But, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to respect his wishes. But, yeah, I do agree that my mans need to get some fresh air. It's okay to get a little fresh air from time to time. I'm getting some fresh air. Like I said, you know, walk to the mailbox, go to the gym, you know, had a little episode. You know, but you know what, though, bro? Like, these are one of those episodes that, you know, it's just been so much. It's been, like, still a lot going on. Uh, people, you know, people are saying different things about the vaccinations and things like that, bro. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just a lot, yo. You know what I'm saying? And, well, you know, when you think about it, man, who wants to keep hearing bad things all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you know, nobody acts with this virus. No. And to be honest with you, I, in my opinion, bro, I don't even really think, I don't even think it was no virus for real, bro. I just feel like they want to scare people. I think that's what it is. Truth be told. scare people, bro. And maybe we could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? And maybe we could be right. But I just feel like they want to scare people. Mm hmm That's all it is. So at the end of the day, I mean, you know, it is what it is, but you know, don't put people in the, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't put them in a the misery like that. And like for you know, for our elderly teachers, you know, I don't want to see nothing happen to them either. But y'all put so much pressure on them, you know what I mean? And it's like every time you hear, you know, they're the main ones that keep getting keep getting sick. You know, young people getting sick too, but you know, it's the elderly people that keep getting sick, bro. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all. And it's do this, do that, you know, but like, come on, man. Everybody was taught when we were small, everybody was taught to go wash your hands, right? Right. Hand sanitize your hands. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just keep people safe. You know, that was way before the COVID hit. And you ain't want your germs on nobody. Right. And now you know put the world in the state of in the state of all, because it's like, darn, I don't know if I go to the bathroom today tomorrow, somebody sneeze, what's gonna happen to me? And the vaccine wasn't doing this, and the vaccine wasn't doing look, old president thought this was a joke. Had he handled it, we wouldn't be in this mess. Mm -hmm. We've been in this mess. In the first place. 
You know, and like I said, I'm not no politician or nothing. And I don't have no, like, when people vote for, that's what they vote for. But, you know what I'm saying? Have an honest cause behind it. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a black man. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not going to keep looking over my shoulder to see, you know what I'm saying, if I'm in risk or in danger of my life. All right. Nah, man, I'm not going to keep doing that, yo. Because for one, God got my back. You understand what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. God ain't going to let nothing happen to me. But what I'm not going to keep doing is, you know, people trying to make, I don't think people know how to do their math. If you really look at it, bro, black people are the, it's the biggest race, yo, besides the Mexicans. But black people is the biggest race, dog. But nobody want to pay attention to that. And instead of coming together as one, everybody want to be divided. So what this did right here, what this COVID thing did, it was it divided everybody. But you don't see that with no other. You don't see that with no other race, though. No, you don't. No, I don't see it. Ah, well. So why does it have to happen to us? You know what I'm saying? Like these are these are the questions. Like you know, well, what is it that we must do to make sure? that our kids, our black and brown kids get what they need in education. You teach them when they get home. Mm-hmm. Pick up a book. Are Instead we? of letting them be on, on the iPad all day. Or if you're going to do the iPad, give them something educational. Mm-hmm. But my son don't know how to read. Then get a book. Mm-hmm. And you read to him. That's right. Well, I don't know how to read. Okay, but I'm just saying. That, and that, that happens at times, right? But I'm knowing somebody in your family that can help you read. Because guess what that shows? That shows commitment. That shows growth. And it shows that, hey, it's okay. I'm willing to still extend my hand out to help you so you can help your child. But our kids know them rap songs real quick. All right, so if my, if my child know a rap song real quick, then I can, I can incorporate ABCs, one, two, threes, multiplication tapes. Mm-hmm. Right? Since he, so whatever song they love, you take the beat, you insert the, the, the question, and you use that beat. There's so many things that we can do to help our children learn, bro. So much. You know, we just got to use our, our resource. Yeah. And that. Yeah. Our resources. Go ahead, Andrew. I'm, I'm just agreeing with you. Resources, yes. Resources and imply it to oh what they uh, of what they like exactly. Oh, well, it yeah. is. okay. Well, what do you like? Okay, you like football. <laughs> okay, you uh, okay? You play football. All right. So let me let me use let me change this to a football play. Exactly. Exactly. So like like you said, it's so many, it's so many things that can be done. Like yeah. you say, we just have to we just we just have to incorporate. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, it just it's just like we it's just like we said, the excuses, that's getting old. No need. No need. It's getting old. Ain't no need. It is no need to sit here and keep using the same excuse over and over. I don't know how to get my uh, my kids engaged in class. Did you, did you, is your lesson is boring? If so, then you need to change it. Exactly, bro. If the lesson is boring, you need to change it. Exactly. But we, we don't we don't want to do that because we get attitude because we feel like oh everybody is it is, is against me and all this other stuff and y'all y'all you you know you you're not gonna tell me what to do and how to do it. Got to got got to got to show you what you got to do to help our children learn. That, that's part of the that's part of the pro that's part of the, the process. Mm-hmm. I'm not just gonna allow just any and everybody teach my child and you ain't teach them nothing. 
Nah, that ain't how that ain't how that work. Well, I'm not finna allow you to most teachers pile homework up for what? For why? I mean, they got life after school, so why? You know they're not gonna do it. So why are you giving them homework for? Some of them got a game right after school. Some of them got a got a job right after school. Some of them gotta take care of their siblings before their parents come home. True. But you want to pile on homework and then you get mad at, at them for not doing that homework. That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. It don't. But you know, that's 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 the world we that's the world of education, right? And it's not everybody, bro. It, it is not. It's only a selective few. And my thing is this, you know, even at the college preparatory level or the IV level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You're preparing them for college. I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But even in college, stuff ain't due till Friday or Sunday night at 11.59. Like, those who want to go to college, put them on a the college schedule. All right. All work must be due. <laughs> By 11.59 on Sunday. Because why? Kids have emails now, right? Mm -hmm. Teachers have emails now. So therefore, guess what? If you are, if you sit and let your work pile up, that's on you. I ain't on teacher. That's on you. Because right. that's not my fault. <laughs> exactly. It's not the teacher's fault. It's your fault. Like, with history. I mean got projects do a history project history project i might say is due at the end of the nine weeks but don't start on it late and then you got a crown and then you just handing in any type of project then mm -hmm. I, and then i'm gonna have to hand you any type of grade well, we're the only ones i can uh here, you North Carolina. Do I change in the drawer? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking crazy? Like, like you ain't never had nobody come and ask you a question while you record. Look, it happens. All right, it's life. No, I heard North Carolina. I was like. Cause I yes, I went to school in North Carolina, Andrew. I do have a, a North Carolina ID, <laughs> sir. Ay, 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 papi, yeah. No centro, no centro, no centro. No, no español, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what's going on everybody it's kj here letting you know that if you have any questions or concerns about future educators talk stories to share feedback to make our podcast better reactions to the topics that we discuss jokes to tell or you would like someone for the co-host to interview please let us know by direct messaging us on instagram at future educators talk emailing us at futureeducatorstalk at gmail.com or sending in a voice message to us by going to anchor.fm slash futureedtalk. Click on the message tab to where you can record your question to us. Once again, we thank you for listening. Thank you for your continued support and we cannot wait for you to tune in. But nah, man, we just, this is what it is all about right here. Like, this is why I love this show because, you know, we can laugh, we, we can get things off. Like, like you know, what we did last week, everybody had a had a drastic week. What do we say? We ain't doing no shows, man. Everybody just need to have some self care, relax, and do what they need to do. That's it. That's that's what that's as a society. That's what we need to do too. Like people work twenty four seven. I get it. I want to make money, but money ain't gonna make me kill myself or go crazy. No money does uh, not buy you happiness. It don't. It don't. It don't buy. It don't buy nothing. It, it, you know, the only thing it buy you is grocery. You know what I'm saying? You want some shoes, Ew, you want a phone, bid, yep. all that. All that. I was, I was, uh, there's a coach in Florida, bro. This man makes 
$234,521. Wow. $234,000. Bro, the man comes home every two weeks. That man comes home with $9,000, bro, every two weeks. That student loans paid off, uh, you know, whatever, whatever else you need paid off. And he coaches. That's all he do. Coaches. Coaches. Oh, does he have a doctorate degree? No. Nah. Okay. Just a coach. <laughs> <laughs> but but here but here's the thing though, like, shoot, if I get that opportunity, I'm good. He he come listen. He comes home. For, I'm sorry, four thousand a week. Like so, every two weeks he gets paid. He's coming home with like eight thousand. Now just imagine saving all that money up. <laughs> Car note paid, house paid, and you still got change left over. Nah, 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 nah. Still got change left over. Mm, student loans paid. But you can start, exactly, you can start paying towards student loan. Let me, let, hold on, let me, because let me make sure, let me make sure I'm reading this right, bro. Now, if you break annual salary, all right, so listen, monthly wages is 19543 Weekly wage is 4510 Mm. Is one hundred and twelve dollars and seventy five per hour. Hours per week, forty. Now I put eighty on here just to see what they say. Still the same though. You know what I'm saying? Right. But still, not, monthly wage is nineteen, huh? Nineteen thousand, yo, and some change. You can buy a new car with that. Now just. That's what I'm saying. Just imagine, just, just imagine if you don't touch nothing. Just imagine if you don't touch, touch nothing. Even after you pay your bills. And just let that stuff grow. Yeah. You can buy a house with that. A down payment on that. Quick. And if, if it was me, I get I go in a nice little suburban neighborhood and get like a nice look, man. The the highest I go is probably like fifteen hundred. Nice little five five bedroom. Fifteen hundred a month, that ain't bad at all. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that coaching thing too. Yeah, that coach, that coaching, that coaching has great benefits, y'all. Great benefits. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm at the jump on that back that 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 wagon because I talked to the lead secretary. I was like, um, is it possible? Because I didn't know what the requirements to, like, I didn't know what the requirements to be, to be a coach. Like, I didn't know what the requirements, but I want to be a coach. So I was like, what's the requirements to be a coach? If so, I'm interested. Let me be, let me, I said, let me, uh, if so, let me do for boys basketball. Assistant coach. Let me do that. Let me, That's a good look. That's a good look. Yes, sir. That's a good look. And yeah. you get that you get that year of experience under your belt. That's a good look. That, that's what exactly she said to got some experience under your belt. Mm-hmm. That's a good look. Because a lot of students said to me, "Oh, you should be a coach." I said, "Okay, all right then. Let me find out what's the requirements. So, uh, what's so what's the really the requirements to be a coach?" Ain't really no requirements, bro. I think I think I just have experience. It depends on the coach. Okay. Not high school. High school, you don't middle school, you don't have to have no experience. You know what I'm saying? You can you can work your way up from middle school. 
middle, middle school, high school. That's not less. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, if you, as long as you got experience, you start growing, you know what I mean, and work your way up. Now, college is a whole different ball. They want you to have your bachelor's, and they prefer you to have your master's. Oh, say less. So, other than that, though, I mean, like I said, bro, it ain't, you know, and find you something that you love to do. So, like, you might do boys assistant basketball, then you might say, hey, I might want to coach tennis. Or I might want to coach softball. You know what I'm saying? Like, just find you some other sports you're interested in. Say less. Say less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it ain't hard, bro. Listen, you're about to be coach. Not Mr. Fred, you better be Coach Fred. Not no doc, not no Doctor Coach Fred either. No, nah, it, it, it's straight. Mm -hmm. Hey, like I said, Coach DJ. That's it. That's you it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm with you, G. I'm with you. I'm being. But other than that, though, bro, you're gonna have fun. I think this is gonna be a lot to. Even though this is going to be my first year coaching, I'm probably going to need some help either from you and from Coach Coach Johnson. Oh, I got you, bro. Well, well, as I say, Coach Johnson, not Mr. Johnson. Um, I'm probably going to need help from, from both of y'all because this is, like, my first year coaching. So, like, right. well, not – well, I don't say it's coaching. Um, get all the resources, get all the information, knowledge, and wisdom, so that once I become a coach of a of a sport, I know what to do. I know mm -hmm. what to expect. Because I've already got a plan in place. Assistant coach for boys basketball. And then if I stay around for another year, most likely. Let me do let me do track, coach track as you know the head coach. And let me be uh trying to figure out what they also got. Oh of of uh boy soccer too. And that you can grow you can grow you can grow in them sports bro. You can grow in them sports. Just you like I say, just learn the game and just go from there, bro. That's it. That is it, bro. You take you take some good knowledge on this Monday. And go do your thing. And go and go study. Go study basketball. You know what I'm saying? Learn your ins and your outs. YouTube. YouTube gets you right. There's plenty of middle school basketball games on YouTube, bro. You can learn the game. It's not hard. Plus, I'm in college. Well, I would say I'm in college, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Getting associates in arts. Yeah. It's a good thing. Tanya, I'm making moves. <laughs> you are. God got you. I always know that. That's why I'm coming with them messages hard and hard each day. Do every day, hard and hard. He did too because I just found out the other day when that teacher's gonna come, which was September 13th. And she was like, Well, and she already turned into paperwork too. So on September 13th, if nothing happens, this is when I'm gonna be promoted. So I was like, Okay, well, cool. I was like, Okay, that's fine. And then I was like, Well, let me, what's the requirements of coaching? And then I was like, <laughs> Well, also, if y'all do bring back clubs again, let me be the co advisor of student council. Oh, yeah, that's, that's dope, too. Listen, I think he, I think he told me, hey, work at this school as the starting point. Right. And then once you, get your degree mm -hmm. most likely stay there for about a couple of years once you get your bachelor's degree go ahead and and 
you know, shoot your shot for a minute school as a teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's about right. That's about right. I mean, I don't plan to be at that school very long because, you know, there are other schools out there. Right. But I don't want to be stuck at that same school for over, I don't know, 10 years. Yeah, I, I already know, bro. Need some growth. Need some growth. And I know a lot of teachers like to stay at their school forever. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you need, sometimes you need some new scenery. Right. And that wrong new scene. Right. So, but yeah, bro. Congrats, and uh, thank you, sir. You know, you know, we'll get we'll, we'll get back to it when it's you know when it's time. We gonna we gonna come back on something more serious. I think our, our, I don't think we should have topics anymore because at this point, really, it's just whatever comes to our minds. Really. Oh, that's it. I like that. I like oh, that. Oh, we need to talk about this. No, like let's not do that. Because now we're trying to figure out, now we got to do research. Now we got to spend like an hour yeah. to do some Yeah. Let's just keep it. Let's keep it. Let's, let's just go with it's on our mind. I like yeah, that. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. Yeah. If you have an about let's talk about it. Let's sit down and have a talk about it. What's going on? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Oh, today we're going to talk about this. Oh, today we're going to. Mm-hmm. Look, 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 the day in the life of Coach, of Coach Fred and Coach DJ. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm a substitute teacher at News River Middle School. I'll be uh, today. I'll be subbing a sixth grade so science and social studies along as eighth grade math intervention. Where her planning periods are kind of weird. Her schedule is kind of weird because I have core class in the morning and then three back to back to back planning periods until about around one o'clock. Yeah. Sound about right. So yeah, you know, that's my life. And, you know, I just I coach I coach women's basketball and college basketball now. So that's my life. And I got a good I go to work from eight to three. All mm. I focus on is basketball, recruiting, doing play. And I'm good. Something I love to do. It gets no better than that. Don't you don't you love when you just got a job that you love to do? I ain't got to do no yeah. lesson plan. I ain't got to do none of that. I just focus on sports. Make sure my, my girls' grades are good and keep it moving. Make sure I get a study hall schedule together. Okay. Get Who's my that? Starbucks or Dunkin' <laughs> Donuts or whatever I need. I'm good. I'm good. Meanwhile, I'm about to be a coach. Right. As my, the lead secretary about to talk to the athletic director. That's okay. Oh, yeah. you That's clutch. Not- you clutch. And tell them that, hey, I'm interested in assistant coaching for boys uh, basketball. But I do. I, what I did tell them, if you want to play sports, your grades. If you're not playing if you're if you're failing. No. I told him just like it is. I said, well, if your grades, if you got a C, you're not playing. Shut up. Yeah, well, that's kind of harsh. <laughs> it's tough love. It's tough you love. can't, you can't, you can't, nah, you can't, you can't discipline a child from making a C. Because now everybody's going to be A, B students. So a C, a C, a C minus, then okay, we can talk about it. But a C, now you don't ever take a child's confidence like that. I I did that. It ain't work for me. Oh, it you know didn't what I'm work. saying? You, you, yeah, you don't take away a child from making a C. Because then when when that child realized that they could do it, their grades started improving. That C that C then became a B plus because the ball was in their court, and you support them instead of bringing them down. They already got a C. They don't they don't need them. Hell, they already got the hit. Ain't no need to you know what I'm saying make it worse. 
Mm. So you won't have no fans in the stands with these on. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Okay. I'm your number one fan, but I, I can't see you play right now. Nah. Oh, I see what you nah. do. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I mean, I want you to enjoy your money, man. I'm about to, like I told you, I'm about to go out here. I'm about to play a little Call of Duty on the PSC. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with y'all with another episode of Future Educators Talk slash, you know, whatever comes to our mind. But that's been <laughs> Whoever the case may be. Whatever the case may be, yo, we're going to talk about it. I just gave I just got you a bath and a haircut, so I don't know why you itching. All right, yo. Oh, my dog. Yeah, my dog, bro. Got my boy a whole new whole new look right there. Bugatti, stop licking yourself. I know you look like wishbone. That's my boy. That's my guy right there. Wherever I go, he goes. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. Candyman come out this weekend, y'all. Yeah, you know, y'all stay safe out there in the street. You know what I'm saying? Don't be in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be careful. Please. Be in the mirror. Yeah, y'all be careful out there, yo. Y'all already got crate challenges going on. Don't, don't, oh don't have no Candyman challenges. Uh, uh. <laughs> At that note, here we go. <laughs> At that note, we see you next week. See y'all later. Don't just listen to future edge carriers talk on your smartphone. Continue the conversation online. Like us on Facebook. Be a part of our conversation by telling us what you think of our episodes. Join us on Instagram for behind the scenes content. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with what's happening on our podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss future episodes. And beyond, it's you who keeps future edge cares talk going. So like, comment, share, subscribe, review, and connect everywhere with us you get social. So let's listen together.